Today I'm gonna do an art lesson um, inspired by the artist, the German artist Franz Mark. Now, we're gonna make this really bright colors just like Franz Mark, and we're gonna draw a horse freehand. Your horse does not have to look just like this one. Everybody draws differently, and I want you to draw it your best way. Your horse might look like nothing like a horse. Maybe you're gonna make a unicorn. Maybe you're gonna make your horse look more like a puppy. That's okay. Today, I just want you to get active drawing. Drawing is a practice, and the more you do it, the better you get at it. I'm gonna post a printout that you can print out on your coffee machine, also a coloring sheet. This is something that just gives us an idea of how we can draw it. We don't have to draw it just like this one. I won't draw it just like this. You will probably draw it better than me. So I'm gonna draw it in pencil, then I'll trace it in a black crayon. The lesson is inspired by the artist who painted The Blue Horse by Eric Carle. Most of his art does not look perfect, and a lot of it looks like it was made in a childlike way, and that's what he wanted. He wanted his art to be understood by children more than anything, anyone. So we're gonna go ahead and draw the horse. I'll use my pencil first, and then I will trace it in crayon. Now I'm gonna start in the middle of my page for the mouth, and I'm just looking at the handout, then looking at my sheet, and I'm gonna sketch. Now, we know sketching means to draw it lightly. So I'm gonna draw the horse lightly. And his face, okay, it, it's a little bit of an unusual shape. For a horse, I like to do a straight line for the nose, and then I kinda of angle it up and his ear is a triangle. Now I know this might be a little challenging, that's okay. Just give it your best shot. So there's a line here, a line going down, an angled line. And you could even do a little oval. If you can't quite get this, you could do an oval circle. That's one way of drawing a horse's face. And then I'm gonna draw the neck that goes down into his hooves. Here I'm gonna draw his leg and his hooves. And there's one leg. He's kind of angling his face down towards his shoulder. And here's his other leg. The artist who created this work was what we call an ex abstract expressionist. Abstract means it doesn't have to look realistic. It looks like a horse, but it doesn't completely look like a realistic horse. And mine's not gonna look totally realistic. I want the legs to look like they're going back on the land. So this leg is kind of, those two back legs are shorter. See how these two legs are shorter than the front legs? And I have a feeling you guys can do a better horse than me. Sketching means to draw quickly and lightly. And then I'm gonna draw his hair. You might decide to do a unicorn horn or maybe you're gonna make your horse have different hair than me. I just want it to kinda of look like this. Now, then I'm gonna do some background. I'm gonna get creative with it. I might decide to put him on a hill just like Franz Mark did. Maybe I'm going to do a sunset in the background or some Tennessee hills. Franz Mark, our artist, he lived in Germany during the time of World War I. I'm going to do an eye. almost forgot his eye, and here's his little nose. I don't have to make it very realistic because abstract art is not realistic. Then I'm going to trace him and a black crayon. Here I'm gonna go a little slower because I wanna show you the, the details of the body. So his face, it's almost an oval, and then I added some lines that are geometric. And then his body, if you can look at this shape, this looks like the letter C backwards. That's a U, two straight lines for his legs. Got some hooves. 
Here's his front leg. And if you notice, there's a lot of different value in the color of this horse. That means there is color going from dark to light and light to dark. And it's not realistic in the background either. We can tell it looks like land, but land isn't usually red, yellow, and blue. So abstract art broke the rules. A lot of people didn't really know what to think about abstract art in the 1900s. They thought it was really wild because nobody had ever painted blue horses. Nobody had ever broken the rules. There was art schools that taught very strict rules about how you make your art. And the expressionist artists, they broke the rules. They made people question things too. They were important for history because they made people question if you have to have art look realistic. And they, they said, no, you don't. You can make your art look however you want. So I'm gonna post this handout so you can even look at this while you're drawing. Try not to copy though. I want you to practice your drawing. And I'm doing the land. This is just a black crayon. I like to outline so my drawing shows up. I'm doing some mountains. I'm making mine kind of similar to Franz Mark. He did a little plant right there. Maybe I'll do something that the horse can munch too. It looks like a good thing for him to have a snack on. Now, I'm going to paint him blue. And that's the only thing I really want to just make sure he's blue. I'm going to make him darker around the edges. I'm going to make my blue a little darker on the edges of this picture. Make his hair dark. So I'm using my pure paint. This is watercolor paint. And I'm using a lot of the blue. And I'm making some areas that are going to look really dark blue. Some will look lighter. And I'll show you how I'll lighten those up. I do need to add a little water. Now, I'm gonna add some water to my watercolor. I don't even have to get more paint. I'm just gonna change the value of this area by adding more water. And I might even add a little black, because when we add black, it even changes the value Mix it with the blue and I get a very dark, dark blue. And it changes the value, just like our painting of the blue horse. I'm going to go in and make some areas dark, dark blue. Some areas light blue. And do that by adding a little water. Watercolor is really fun to paint with and you can really try and change the value. It's a word I like to use in art. It's one of our elements of art. It's how we create depth and dimension in our paintings. And so, my blue horse, he is starting to come to life. I'm getting very happy about him. When you create art, you don't have to worry about making it look a certain way your art can look any way, and it's because of the abstract expressionist artists. They paved the way in art to have very few rules. There used to be a lot of rules to art, but because of the expressionist painters and artists, now we can make art with blue horses, purple foxes, just like our book, Eric Carle's book. He realized he could make his animals any color he wanted. He didn't have to make them the realistic color. And I think that makes everything much more fun. Okay, so see how I have a little bit of black mixed with blue in certain spots. That makes my value change. And so I just make a little bit darker on the edges. I like to do it on the edges because it shows that they kind of go back in space. There's dimension makes my horse look a little more realistic and then in your background you can do whatever colors you want I'm just gonna paint it quickly I'm gonna let you guys 
decide how to do your background. I don't want you to copy me. The blue horse is kind of fun because it does teach us how to work on value using one specific color, but you guys play with the background and decide how you want to finish your blue horse. If you want to send a picture to me on email or on social media, you can do that through Facebook or through my email address, bkincaid at pcsstn.com. I can't wait to get to make art with you again, and I look forward to when that day comes. Until then, make art, send it to me, and be inspired.